Ave Maria, welcome to Jenny Mints. Ave Maria, and welcome to Reflection for this Sunday, October 23, 2022. The Gospel uh, reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told another parable to some people who fully convinced of their own righteousness, who looked down on others. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and said, I thank you, God, that I am not like other people, grasping, crooked, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all my income to the temple. In the meantime, the tax collector standing far off would not even lift his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, when this man went back to his house, he had been reconciled with God, but not the others. Whoever makes himself out to be great will be humble, and whoever humbles himself will be raised up. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my brothers and sisters, in our Gospel this Sunday, October 23, is uh, teaching. Jesus, our Lord, is teaching us how is the correct way of praying and he gives us one important ingredients and what ingredients is this it is humility yung pagpapakumbaba uh, why because you know, when we pray we are not talking to a person who is uh, how do you call it? Hindi naman tayo nakikipag-usap sa isang tao na sabihin na natin mas maliit sa atin. No? And what and who are we talking to when we pray? That is the question. Sino ba yung kausap natin no? pag tayo nagdadasal? Si God. And although God is love, Deus caritas est. No? But still, He is our Creator. No? And even a friend. No? Kahit may kaibigan tayo, meron tayo o oh, kamag-anak natin. No? Di ba pakipag, nakikipag-usap tayo? Dapat, di ba? Meron yung pagpapakumbaba. Meron yung sabi nga ay, uh, ay humility. No? Kasi nga, no? Kapag tayo uh, may pagpapakumbaba at nakikipag-usap sa tao, yung tao o yung ating kausap, no, kaibigan man, mas lalo silang natutuwang makipag-usap sa atin. Siguro, wala namang, <laughs> wala namang taong gusto na ang kanyang kausap ay mayabang. No? Nakaka-turn off, di po ba? Kapag ka mayroong kang kausap na Sabi nga sa Tagalog, yung, uh, to, malakas ang hangin. No? So, importante, no? ka, kapag may kausap ka rin, no? nandun din yung humility. And how much more sa ating uh, Panginoon, no? sa ating Diyos, no? sa, ating, uh, uh, nag, sa ating makapangyarihang Ama no? sa langit. So we have to really be be humble. And this is the one thing that the tax collector had, no? that the Pharisees do not have. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, no? Jesus, no? in preaching, or sa pag-preach, uh, pag no? no? teach really the truth. And sometimes, truth humiliates. No? Truth humiliates. May mga tao na kapag katinamaan sa humili, no? akala nila sila yung pinatatamaan. At the same time, instead of changing their lives, no? 
eh, no? parang they justify themselves. No? And that is not good. No? Because, alam niyo po, no? whether we like it or not, sabi nga, truth hurts. No? And tax, these tax collectors no? humbles himself. A true humble person accept no? whatever he hurts. No? Will it be him or somebody no? that is being I don't know, corrected? He accept it humbly. That's a true human, humble person. No? He accept what is it. No? Even it means no? humiliating him because that's that's the, no, no. That's the practical way of being truly humble. No, makikita mo naman talaga ang tunay na pagiging humble o mapagkumaba ng isang tao. Not dahil makaganon lang parati o walang imig, hindi sasalita. That's not a true, uh, uh, you cannot see true humility by that. No? True humility, you will see when you are humiliated. No? And we have many, many examples in the life of the saints. No? regarding true humility. Sad to say, no? sa panahon natin, maraming mga fake news at fake humility. No? And the tax collector, he really, in the gospel today, he really is humble because he looks as himself and accept no? who, he, who he is in the sight of God. He said, no, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. No? He did not say, Oy, uh, God, kita mo, oh, si Father, kita mo si, si Sister, oh, kung ano-ano pinagsasabi sa akin, nakasakit sa akin. He humiliates me. No? Hindi po. The tax collector admit that he is a sinner. No? That's why, no? Kapag tayo nagdadasal, nagaampo, sabi nga sa Bisaya, o nangangadji, sabi nga sa Bikul, no? let us no, humble ourselves. Because God, sabi nga, opens the heaven to the humbles and closes it to the pride, to the proud. Let, access, let us accept humiliation. No? Wherever it is, whoever it is, because humiliations make us humble. Of course, it is not easy. But because of God's grace, with the help of God and our Blessed Mother, we will be able to humble ourselves. No? Let us not imitate the Pharisees, on the other hand. No? Yung Pariseo, no? uh, he did not really pray. He praises himself. No? And parabang tawag ito, uh, sabi nga sa Tagalog, uh, nag, uh, ano pa siya, nangungumpra. No? Um, tawag dito, uh, para bang uh, gusto pa niya bayar, ano no, uh, uh, ano yun yung si God, no? Pina ay pangalandakan yung kanyang kabutihan, which is really, at the end, hindi naman talaga siya, kundi si God ang nagbigay sa kanya ng grace para gawin yun. No? And he boast and boast in front of God. No? And alam niyo po, yung proud person, no? well, kapag ka na, ano, no? yung mga mayayabang, no? what tendency is that they look no? on the defects of others no? to exalt themselves. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng ano, no? proud. No? You exalt yourself downgrading others but that that is not the case no when somebody corrects you no and even sometimes it is humiliating because correction is not really downgrading if it is a true correction of course no a good correction no? and it is really no uh, not downgrading you but correcting you no to tell you that you are wrong all of us make mistakes no so no? Correction does not, I don't know, exalt the person no? or, the, or downgrade the person. No? Correction or humiliation in the part of a preacher, if we preach something 
regarding you know, to change you know, the the person if it's not you know, downgrading or is not proud you know. so it is up to us how do we receive the word of god you know. and that is the problem no alam niyo po we think that we are humiliated because we think that that word come from a priest come from a preacher or our bishop no? we forgot no kaya kalimutan natin mga brothers and sisters especially kapag tayo nakikinig sa banal na misa o di kaya sa mga preaching we don't no we do not realize if truly no? that comes from the word of god that's the point of departure no in uh, in the preaching or in the correction if that if we accept correction we have pri- we accept the preaching that comes from god of course we will not think that we are humiliated but if we think that that word of god comes from a priest from father father jeremy a bishop so and so a pastor so and so of course no when we think that of course we will be uh how would they call this we will be hurt no? and we we think we are humiliated because we think that that word comes from a person so brothers and sisters no? in our uh, in our sunday gospel today jesus is ask us no? are we humble are we truly humble in our prayer and let our blessed mother and saint joseph help us to really be humble in prayer ave maria and god bless you all